the press box. The uh, referee is Lloyd Wood from Essex. He took charge of all the shots. 2-1 uh, winner Ebsleet back in August 2019. Six National League games so far this season. 20 yellow cards and no uh, reds. And, uh, yeah, we hope that, uh, that statistic uh, stays the same. Back up against the advertising hoardings. Trying to get some pace on this throw as he tries to get it deep into the Weymouth penalty area it's a high hanging loopy one in towards the near post and it came off a Weymouth head and was tipped over the bar by Ethan Ross good save by the Weymouth goalkeeper Andrew Dallas coming towards the near side cross comes in a very good uh, evening to you Tim Durrans and we've played three minutes here at the uh, Ebb Stadium who's been so impressive in recent weeks alongside Edza and uh, Jermaine Anderson ball up to the Weymouth front two nice little layoff here Dallas scampers forward into the box plenty of Weymouth shots in there and it's a good save by Mitch Walker at his, uh, as it near post it was a decent strike by Dallas as he got away down the inside left channel hit it well but Mitch Walker was equal to the task seven minutes gone still nil nil yeah. and for all EBB Stadium throwing taken by OG gets it back from Mo Betterman now here's Nubel Nubel on the left-hand side, very prominent in these early stages. OG manages to get a cross in, and he runs to Candy, who put it wide. That was a really good chance for the Aldershot Town number 10. He turned and he hit it really well. It was a true strike. Ethan Ross absolutely stationary from the, uh, from the far side, and it goes towards the near post. Good defensive header by uh, OG, I think it was, at the near post. Weymouth are just trying to sort of prod their way through the Aldershot town of it. McCoy back out towards the far side and it's headed in at the back post. And Weymouth have the early lead just 12 minutes in. Aldershot town didn't clear the corner properly. It came back in. It was a vicious delivery. Two Weymouth players completely unmarked at the back post. And with 12 minutes gone, it's Aldershot town nil, Weymouth one. But they lead here by a, a goal to nil. Can Aldershot town producer an almost immediate response as that's the ball over the top Dallas is onside Walker comes out Dallas goes past him and Walker put his hand out now then that is certainly denying a goal scoring opportunity for Mitch Walker the referee goes to his pocket and I didn't see what card that came out Steve did you I think and judging by the fact that Mitch is taking his gloves off it, it was is, the wrong colour for all to shot down it is a red card so as Dallas prodded it past Walker he instinctively put out his hand and fortunately, Aldershot Town do have a goalkeeper on the bench. And it's Brad James, who's had uh, 10 appearances already this season on loan from Middlesbrough. And uh, the aforementioned Sean Shields is, is the other. So Shields over the wall and over the bar, thanks to the hands of Brad James. His first touch is to make a, a pretty decent save. It uh, would have come to him quite late over the wall it was good whip from Shields not a lot of pace but James was able to tip the ball over the crossbar now back in field to Ravan playing on the left hand side of that centre back pairing Mensa on the ball at the moment is the right hand sided player he plays it forward to McCoy. McCoy down to Luke. Luke with the first time ball out to Sean Shields. Shields gets it down by the byline. Now into the box on his right foot. Twisting, turning. Left foot shot and Brad James pushes it behind for another Weymouth corner. And again, Weymouth so quick and incisive on the counter-attack. And Aldershot Town will need to be very, very careful as they look for an equaliser. Yeah. Right back, Killian Colombia with a goal-saving tackle at the back post as well at the moment. Aldershot Town will just be looking to get to half-time. So five minutes until the break. Aldershot shot town nil Weymouth one they'll feel they've perhaps already done enough to win this as uh, Edza's run curtailed by Angalo and then he puts a long ball over the top and Finney falls down and Dallas is away can he make it 2-0 he can slots it into the back of the net and Alex Finney's slip is costly for Aldershot town it's Weymouth leading here by two goals to nil uh, Terry Brown's last game in charge when uh, Reese Day scored the only goal of the game 10 minutes into the second half to give Terry Brown a, a winning send-off as, as Aldershot Town manager. As Weymouth come forward again and Galo smashes it into the East Bank off a deflection. 
and Weymouth will uh, have a corner. Positions were. I think we just probably were. May, maybe about sort of maybe about sort of 20 or 30 yards to the uh, to the left hand side, closer to the uh, to the halfway line. As here come all shot down, looking for a way back into this game. Ball out towards this near side is controlled by Paniotto. He's right on the edge of the box. Back to Colombia. First time cross from the fullback. Evades uh, a couple of players and an overhead kick is uh, straight into the arms of uh, Ethan Ross from the acrobatic uh, Edza. Uh, fresh in the memory as he takes a couple of paces back. Hits it right footed. Oh, and that wasn't far wide. He hit that really well. Um, Ross certainly wasn't getting there if it was on target. It thumped into the advertising hoardings rather than the uh, rather than the back of the net. And uh, I think maybe that's why uh, that's why Betima pulled rank. I think. So yeah. Now it's with Shields. Now it's rolled back to Harfield once again, who again chips it into that uh, corner. JD will give chase. It's gone behind for a goal kick, and the referee checks his watch again. And there is the full-time whistle. And all the shot towns three-game winning run comes to an end here at the EBB Stadium. They've lost to Weymouth by two goals to nil. Are you in with a shot? More information below. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.